Number one is Hall of Dreams, who will be Patrick Husband's 23rd Queen's Plate ride. In the plate trial stakes, he was bumped by a stablemate Sir For Sure at the top of the stretch and eventually finished second. The Son of Lemon Drop Kid was a private purchase after his two-year-old campaign. Shamatur at 30-1 will be making just his second Woodbine start of the season in the plates. He is just a one-time winner in his career, which came in his second career start at 47-1. He enters the $1 million race off a respectable second place finish versus older competition on Canada Day. Ironstone is the Cinderella story for this year's race, as a yearling he sold for just $7,000. On Sunday, he will be ridden by leading rider Kazushi Kamura, who is returning from a recent back injury. Trainer Willie Armada will look to follow in his father Vito Armada's footsteps. Vito won the plate in 2002 with long shot TJ's Lucky Moon. Next to Ironstone is the number four, and that is the Minkster, who enters Sunday's plate doing something that he has never done before. He is racing for the first time after losing a race. In the plate trial, he was ranked early and did not handle the hot temperatures that day. Trainer Dan Vella has won the plate twice in 1994 with Baskian and 2012 with Straight at Dover. At five to one is number five, Duke of Love, who had a troubled trip in the plate trial stakes, lacking room in the stretch en route to a fourth place finish. Trainer Josie Carroll is searching for a fourth Queen's Plate win, and rider Justin Stein his second. For post position number six is Ron Dewar at 3-1. He has blossomed this season for new trainer Katrina Vasilieva. The Borders Racing Stable homebred easily beat open competition in the Grade 3 Marine and will be coming off a seven-week layoff on Sunday. Queen's Plate winning rider Flavian Pratt will be coming north of the border to ride Ron Dewar for the first time. Dancing in Denial is at 30 to 1, and he will carry the prestigious red and gold colors of Samsung Farms, who are seeking their sixth plate victory. The son of Pioneer of the Nile will be reunited with rider Sean Bridge Mahan after a one race absence. Post position number 8 belongs to the Morning Line favorite Moira at 5 to 2. She is a lone filly in the field and is coming off a breathtaking performance at the Woodbine Oaks presented by Budweiser. Due to pre race antics, she ran with no hind shoes. That didn't slow her down though, as she won the Oaks by over 10 lengths. Moira is seeking to become the 10th Philly since 1956 to win Canada's most prestigious race. Next door to Moira is Huntmaster at 30 to 1, who will be guided by Emma Jane Wilson, who is no stranger to pulling off an upset in the Queen's Plate. Wilson guided 15 to 1 shot Mike Fox to play glory in 2007. The gallop for the Guineas will be Huntmaster's stakes debut. Sir For Sure is at 8 to 1, and he is a massive son of Sligo Bay. He is one of the largest horses in the field. In the play trial stakes, he made a bold run on the turn, eventually winning by two lengths. The Heste Sports own gelding had to survive an inquiry for his first stakes win. And round out the field from post position number 11 is causing mayhem, who finished third in his synthetic track debut in the play trial stakes. Both Chiefswood Stables and Hall of Fame trainer Todd Pletcher are seeking their second Queen's Plate win.